church is full of hypocrites. Have you heard that before? You hear it constantly. There are a lot of people who say that they will not join an organized religion. I heard one priest say, uh, well, that's wonderful. You need to become orthodox because we're certainly not an organized religion. When you see scandalous things happening in the church, we begin to think that their argument is true. Surely, it seems plain that the church is filled with hypocrisy when you see scandals like sexual abuse, embezzlement of church monies, monastics publicly supporting things that the church condemns, or monastics being so legalistic and inflexible that they earn the title I heard one archbishop gives, the Orthodox Taliban. For the brush of hypocrisy is actually not. Hypocrisy is not what we call that when people do the wrong thing. That's sin. That's what we call it. And we don't like that word, sin. It seems to be outdated. Hypocrisy is, sim is not simply using or saying one thing and doing another. Hypocrisy is actually Saying one thing as it coming from your own authority and not following it. That is hypocrisy. It is, I tell you this and then not follow it. Now why talk about that on Father's Day? It's because fatherhood is misunderstood and is not valued any longer in our society. Notice the gifts we give for Father. Give them gifts to make them lazy. Isn't it? Have something for the backyard grill. Dad, stay outside. Do this, Dad, so you can watch you know, sports all day long. These are the kinds of gifts we give to Dad. In other words, to entertain him, to placate him, to separate him. We don't give him gifts that are signs of his authority. Motherhood is exalted in our society, and motherhood is good, by the way. Motherhood is soft and warm. It is gentle and kind. It's embracing and usually is presented in saccharine cards at the hall. There's some truth to this saccharine point, but it's a partial truth. Fathers are authority. We have, to, we have now come to hate and despise all authority figures and all authority. But there are good fathers and bad fathers. Bad fathers are no reason to despise father nor authority. I have an intuition, by the way, that the rejection of authority and the rush for the maternal stands at the very heart of why many denominations seek to have women clergy instead of men. Because they don't want authority. They want softness and warmth and kindness. They want priests that are bearded women. They don't want men. That is not a priest. Now, why would I talk about this on Father's Day? Because fathers, if we are going to be real fathers, have to understand ourselves as being under authority so that we might be real fathers. A priest, by the way, in a parish has no authority of his own. A priest is not anything, but rather a priest bears the authority of Jesus Christ, not his own authority. If it were just me, I would just be Jerry Giles walking out on the street, and who cares about that? I'm an insignificant character from Cleveland, Texas. So what? But the very fact that the church has vested me with the priesthood of Christ means that I speak for our Lord. Not my Lord. This is what makes a father a father. It is 
Thank you. 